All right, guys, so I have a Line 6 Helix, and I was trying to do a firmware update that is recommended whenever you get, um, you got to download some software, and one of them is called the Line 6 Updater, and it'll tell you, it'll show you what your firmware version currently is, and it should give you options for updating the firmware uh, to uh, the current, the most current one. So I, try, I was at 2.30 was my firmware version, and I tried to update it to 2.70, and when I did this process, as I understood the instructions to be from line six, it uh, failed. It gave me several errors. One of the errors said, uh, it failed. And one of the errors said, Helix LT boot failure entered. It didn't say that. It said, a failure, boot failure entered update mode. And it had like this frowny face up in the upper left side, I believe. And so then it, um, when I went through the updater software, the software told me to reboot the uh, Helix and try it again. Every time I rebooted the Helix, though, it went into that boot failure uh, error, which I'll tell you exactly what it said. It said, boot failure entered update mode. And it would never, ever go into the normal Helix. I tried to unplug and get it into the normal Helix and just have nothing except for power going to it. And every time it said boot failure, entered update mode. And so, you know, I thought I was screwed. I actually have a, a laptop. I'll show you the laptop and, and the Helix, what I'm talking about in a second. But I ended up reading some stuff and figuring out that some people have trouble with specific USB slots. On my laptop that I was in, I was in the 3.0 slot, so I took it out of that and I went to the 2.0 slot, um, which if you don't know what that is, usually the 3.0s are colored. They may be black or blue or some funky color, and the normal ones are just the plain Jane silver chrome or whatever. So anyways, I changed it to a 2.0 slot. It still didn't work, so I was using the cable that came supplied with the Helix in the box. And it went through the process. It, it found it in the software, the updater software. Found it. It showed the image of it, and you click on it, and then it lets you pick which software or firmware you want to do. And I did all that. And then it, it would go through the whole process, the red bar, progress bar, and then it would say failed on my laptop. And then I would look on the uh, Helix, and it was saying that it was fried, essentially. So it freaked me out. I tried a ton of stuff. I actually ended up getting uh, an old printer cable because that's what it essentially is, is a printer cable. And it was it, it worked. So I, I went through the process again. I put it into a regular USB slot. I put the old printer cable on and it went through that. Pro it took longer, actually, and that's great. I don't care as long as it's making progress. And then the Helix started to load itself back up. It rebooted itself according to the firmware update. And then it started to show the familiar Helix face with, you know, the, the sine waves or whatever. And then it shows, it says, says preloading, uh, rebuilding presets. So it worked. I have the Helix on now. I'll show you that. I'll show you the exact spot I'm talking about. And I'll show you the two different cables. Okay. So you can see that my Helix is on. It, now, let's, let's power it down to make sure, man, because this just happened. So power it back up. Nothing's connected to it except for the power. There. See right here before it said version 2.5 or whatever it was I was trying to update to. Because I tried a couple of them actually. And every time it was here and then it went to uh, firmware boot failure firmware. Boom. Now here it is. So now it's back up to normal and that's awesome. Again, I used this, this at least six times and it failed. This is the one that they supply you with. So then I got this junker old printer cable it's the same exact tip you see those tips so i got a regular one and it went through the process and now it works success this time it was that stupid cable man the brand new cable that came with it i have this old ass printer cable now and it's working so Jesus. if you're at your wits end man i thought i was going to have to deal with uh the guy that i bought this from and send him a message or something and try to get it taken care of but it's it's okay now so it might be the cable that Helix uh, came with, because that's exactly what it was for me. Um, and I read some stuff about holding two buttons down and try to reset it, and, and none of that worked. 
it absolutely needed it needs the firmware the firmware is like it's it's software and if it's corrupt when it comes through the bad cable or a bad connection or a bad usb port then it won't have all the necessary information that it needs to uh, launch itself just like if windows is corrupted you need a, a rebuild disk or you need to run check disk or whatever so um reinstalling the firmware correctly with the cable um worked so i hope this fixes it for you good luck